So this is the second part of the video of the Tata Duendes, also known as Yumbalam or Nukuchtat. So hope you guys have uh, checked the first part. Today we'll be seeing the meaning of the words because it's very important to understand the meaning of these different names for these guardian spirits. The most common one is Tata Duende. The word Tata Duende is a hybrid word of Spanish and Maya. The word Tata means grandfather or old. And Duende is a Spanish word, a contraction of the term Dueño De, meaning owner. So Tata Duende roughly translated would be grandfather owner. If you go to the villages in northern Belize, the most common word is Nukuchtat. Nukuchtat means great elder or great father. Nukuchtat. For those that have heard the prayers of invocation for these spirits, they will hear the word Balam, Yumbalam, Tatabalam. Balam means jaguar, but when we speak of these guardian spirits, it's, it, it is translated as protector. So, Yum Balam, the word Yum means father, so it will be like father protector. And Tata Balam, a rough translation, will be like old protector. Another word that is used for these spirits are Los Dueños del Monte. Translated in English should be Lords of the Forest or owners of the forest, U Yum Balamob. And this is because before doing milpa, before fi finding firewood or hunting, the Maya always asked permission to the Nukuchtat, to the Tata Balames. And this is something that we explained in the first video. So in the area that the Nukuchtat is guarding, there are always five of them one in each cardinal point and one in the middle it is believed that if a bad spirit enter that area the nukushtat would fight against them if one cannot uh, do the job alone he would whistle and the others will come to help him i know people have heard stories where they say that the tata duende will rip your thumb off if you show it to them. Now between the Yucatec Maya it is not so. This is not part of our um, story, it's not part of the Nukuchtat essence between the Yucatec Maya. Now the knowledge that I am sharing with you guys is not based on storytelling because a lot of people when they tell stories they add a lot of things to make the stories more exciting. What I am sharing with you guys is based on the knowledge that some of our grandparents had passed, which are people that actually believe, people that continue to give offerings of sakab to invoke them in their prayers before they go to the bush. So I um, hope you guys have um, enjoyed this video. Soon I will be speaking of the difference between the Alush and the Nukuchtat or Tata Duende. Many people confuse these two spirits, but they are different from each other. Hatch Yum Botek.